Manchester United has developed into one of the most recognisable brands in international football. But of what benefit is it to live in the back garden of one of the world's biggest football clubs? Just a stone's throw away from the famous stadium, the Manchester United Foundation are working hard to combat some of the social issues that face children and teenagers growing up in Salford. By providing coaching sessions and volunteering opportunities, the foundation encourages kids from the area to make positive choices. Salford is huge red, absolute massive red. I mean, you can see literally over there, you can see the ground. Uh, in this community as well, uh, there's a lot of stuff in the sort of, a lot of stuff that goes on, a lot of crime, um, a lot of out outside influences that can pull young people, that are particularly vulnerable young people, to make maybe some of the positive choices. So I think with United working in the community and then all the sort of positive role models and opportunities that we've got, um, I think it's only a good thing. The Street Red Sessions aim to provide children from the age of 8 to 18 the chance to play football in a safe and structured environment and to spend their time outside of school in a constructive and positive manner. Like ev everybody who comes to the session is always happy like and it's always it's like we do like training and it's always organized and it's more organized than like through the past few years as well it's like developed really good. It's just something not many people get to do is like it's just something like a boy like me would wish for. Manchester United has a rich history of producing players through its academy system. But how is the club working to enhance the futures of those away from the Premier League? Sure, I mean, it's given me a, a direction um, through, the, through coaching. Uh, I went to college doing coaching and then I went to university doing coaching. And I've also had a chance to uh, go to America uh, with Challenger Sports. So without doing um, the volunteering and the, the coaching pathway, without turning up to a session, I, I don't think I would have had that, um, that pathway. So. Following in the footsteps of the likes of Marcus Rashford, you can forgive these players for wanting to impress. But in reality, these sessions represent something much bigger. It's not really about the standards, it's about everyone getting together, playing, enjoying and making the right choices. From Paul Scholes to Roy Key, Manchester United have had their fair share of hard players. Sessions like these enable the club to tackle a different kind of issue. Lewis Smith, Keys TV News.